Hello! This is going to be an interesting tutorial. This is going to be a tutorial on essentially compiling a program known as Borderless Gaming. This is an open source program. Uh, it's licensed under the GNU public license version 2.0. And you can buy it on Steam. Um, you can clone it from GitHub and compile it. Now, the one of the, I, I guess Code USA is the primary contributor, he's not the only contributor, recently got into some drama, which is not the purpose of this, so I'm not going to go into that. But he did state that he will be including compiled binaries as well. Um, I don't actually see it on here, unless I don't see a bin folder. Well, that's fine. I can show you how to do it. In fact, I might start hosting compiled binaries. There's nothing saying I can't. But there's a couple prerequisites you need. You need, if you're doing this yourself, you need Visual Studio Community 2017. It's free. Um... I'm not going to go through installing that. It is really simple, though. So don't worry. Okay? So once you have that, you can, like, fork, if you have a GitHub account, you can just fork it and whatever. But really, for, for most of you, clone or download. Boom. Download it as a zip file. Okay? So it'll go into your downloads. So what you do... We're going to extract it and make sure, oh, whoops, whoops, whoops. I'm downloading some Linux distros, so. Uh, oh boy. Okay, let's, let's slow down for a minute here. I woke up an hour ago. Okay, so we're going to extract it. Here we go. Okay, cool. So next thing we do is we open up Visual Studio. Really simple. Right click. I recommend running Visual Studio as admin. Not going to go into massive detail. You'll be presented with this screen. If you first start it up, you might be prompted to log in with your Microsoft account. You can just say not now. Don't worry about it. You don't need to actually do that. So we're going to, what we need to do is open a project slash solution. Okay. Then we navigate to where Borderless Gaming is. And we select... I mean, you can technically select any, I just, you know, select the main solution. It'll prepare a solution for us. And a couple things we got to do. We got to select, I guess, which version. Um, just go admin UAC. Uh, we also, uh, for solution configurations, any CPU, you can you can leave that as any. If you know if you're x84 or x86, you can change that. You know, it doesn't matter a ton. And then the important thing is you need to switch from debug to release. If you'll just give it a minute. And then we're going to do that. We're going to start. It will now compile the program for any CPU. And we're done. You can see the applications. You can see it works. You can close out of it. That's fine. You can close out of Visual Studio. And then if you go into, you'll see a couple folders will be created. We have bin. See, we have standalone admin. Release. There you go. Uh, we also have user, except we didn't we didn't compile it, so it's not there. And likewise, for Steam, it's not there. Now, if I remember correctly, I'm going to create a folder really quick. I 
I believe you actually need... I'm going to feel like an idiot here. Yeah, and you will need admin to use the admin UAC version. Yes, you do need all these files. There we go. So, and then you can zip it up, move it around. Um, yeah, kind of cool. So that's how to compile it. It's really simple. Now, I I guess I lied a little bit. I'm going to get into it a little bit. I'm not going to say don't support the developer. I appreciate when people do that. Um, just the way, from what I've read, the way he has uh, acting, been acting recently, I... I don't know. I mean, I guess if you want to support the developer and buy it on Steam, but you have every right right now just to go compile it. Or, for example, any person has any right right now to compile it for you. So, if you use it, cool. But, okay, so that's this tutorial. Pretty simple. Any comments, concerns, let me know. I'll address them.